Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing Good morning guys and welcome to another video. I'm so excited for today's one because I think it's going to be very exciting and also very productive because I really just needed to have a weekend to get myself together. I am currently in my pajamas. I just got up. I slept in for the first time in like a week and a half and it was incredible. So I feel so rested and so good. Um, I am spending the morning working on some like career stuff, I guess you could say. Um, I had this moment about a week ago where I was like, I haven't applied to any internships yet. I have no idea what I'm doing next summer. So I started making a list of all the internships that I'm going to apply to and all the different companies that I know of right now. I totally revamped my resume. I sent it to my cousin to do a little resume review. Just made it more concise, more clear, with more numbers and less words. I finished that, so I'm going to apply to some internships this morning. I have no idea where I'm gonna end up. Literally, no freaking clue. It's also really cool because my parents are actually in um, Barcelona for two weeks, and they came in a couple days ago, and it's just been incredible to see them. and. Um, hang out with them they brought me some American snacks that I'm gonna show you guys and then I'm gonna start getting ready because yeah I'm still in my pajamas okay so it's kind of a random assortment it's a lot of just like random snacks so this is like some breakfast bars bunch of chicken noodle soup because I got pretty sick at the beginning of my trip and my mom was like I'm bringing you stuff that you can eat when you're sick so I have lots of chicken noodle soup and then I have a bunch of these little applesauces because I don't eat breakfast very much and it sucks because I try not to skip breakfast it's really not good for me but I tend to skip it and then just eat lunch after so what I'm trying to do is have like a little applesauce I love these things so freaking much they're so easy and the flavors I got I got regular regular apple and then I got apple banana and apple cinnamon and then I got some freaking flavor blasted goldfish because this is my favorite snack I lived off of this last year probably not a good thing then I got some crackers and then my mom legit stocked me up with vitamin C because hopefully that will prevent me from getting sick and then some cough syrup because I had a cough and last time I was sick and she also brought me some other things obviously as well but this is just what I wanted to show you guys so thanks mom love you Okay, so I just finished getting officially ready for the day. I am actually going to church because it is Sunday and I haven't actually been to this church that I'm going to before, but I'm meeting one of my friends there. I'm so excited. But in the past like hour or so as I got ready, I also applied to three internships and I'm so excited. Um, they're sort of like a mixture of internships. They're literally all over. There's one in like California, one in New York, one in Europe. So they're like literally very spread out. I don't really have anywhere that I know for sure that I want to go. And they're all totally different companies in different industries, but they're all marketing internships. So I'll keep you guys posted on my internship hunt and that should be very interesting. But anyway, I'm going to go to church now. And then after church, I'm going to get lunch, work at a cafe, get more homework done because I really, really need to do some homework and some presentations, I need to do that. But right after church, I'm gonna be showing you guys a huge, huge, huge haul because I went shopping um, since I've been here because I did not actually pack that many clothes and you can find amazing quality clothes for not that expensive at all here. So let me just show you a little sneak peek. Okay, it may not look like much, but these bags are like totally full of clothes. So these are like three of my favorite stores here is Zara, obviously, Mango, and Pull and Bear. Pull and Bear is the best. So let me just warn you guys, it's gonna be a really freaking huge haul, but I'm gonna show you it after I go to church. So my outfit of the day is this little like maxi dress and it's a really, really pretty. It is like a florally like pinkish, color it's just really pretty and just flowy and cute and it has like a little slit at the bottom it's kind of like cloudy-ish a little bit but like still sunny so i figured i'll just wear this because it's easy and light all right so i'm about to head out for church i'm just going to be bringing everything as i showed you guys in my little fanny pack except for my notebook this is just like a really tiny one that i picked up at the store so i'm going to be using this as like my little church notes notebook um and yeah, so this is what I'm taking. I'm probably not going to vlog very much because it's church. So yeah, let's go to church. So 
I just got back from church and I wanted to do a literally very, very, very speedy haul. I have quite a bit of things, but I'm just gonna run through it really, really fast and do like little try-on segments. First thing I got is this little black purse from H&M because I didn't bring any purses on this trip for some very odd reason, so pick this up. Then I got this super cute pair of black jeans. They fit perfectly. These are a size 34 for reference. I believe that's a US size 2. Then I got this crazy top. This is a really good going out top, but the reason that I'm going to be wearing this is because I'm going to a EDM music concert festival thing. It's going to be with like Tiesto and Don Diablo and Mike Williams, so I'm freaking excited. I'm going to be wearing that top for sure. Then I got this plain white t-shirt that's super light, and I just got it so that I could like tie up the bottom and wear it with like jeans or skirts and then I got this skirt which is so so cute it's actually like pants in the back or shorts in the back and then a skirt in the front this is the cutest thing ever um, I also got this which is a similar style it's also shorts in the back and a skirt in the front just a really simple black one and then I also got this pair of black pants these are really cool because lengthwise and like fit wise they just are really nice and you can wear them like as business pants but you can also wear them with like a casual top and then like sneakers and wear that to like class or going out I feel like that is like a European look and the last thing that I got from Zara is this perfume this is the Femi perfume and I bought a smaller size at the beginning of the year because I just needed a perfume because I didn't pack any and this one smells so good it's unreal so moving on to a couple other stores this is mango and pinky so I got this top this is from pinky and it says um, Friday Saturday sleep day yeah Friday Saturday sleep day and then I got a bunch of sweaters because I packed like no actual winter clothes so I got a gray sweater and then I got this one, which is like a really pretty like gold color from Mango. I got this skirt, which is just like a little mini skirt with a belt. It's kind of like a checkered print, so it's super cute as well. Um, all of the skirts I got in a size extra small, and this one is in extra, extra small in USA sizes. Last but definitely not least is my Pull and Bear. I'm kind of addicted to this store. Everything there is super cute, and it reminds me of Urban Outfitters, but everything is so inexpensive there comparatively to Urban Outfitters. <laughs> so starting off, I got some more sweaters. This is like the softest sweater I've ever felt in my whole life, and it's a baby blue color. And then I also got a black one that is like kind of cropped. And then I got this t-shirt that says, enjoy cherry Coke on it. And then I also got this huge shirt. I got it in an extra large because I wanted it to be like oversized so I could wear it as a sleep shirt or I could tie it up. It just says, just kids having fun, which I also thought was funny. And then I got one pair of pants. The, this is also sort of like a European style, in my opinion. So it's like a little bit cinched at the top, and then it goes down, and it's cuffed at the bottom, and it's really cute. And I got this that I could wear with um, cute sneakers, which I also bought at Pull and Bear because I didn't have any nice sneakers that weren't like running shoes. They're just like a white leather type thing, and then they have like a little gray suede in the back. They're super cute. I love them. I think that they'll be um, a really nice addition to my wardrobe. So that is everything. Yeah, quite a bit of shopping, but I just wanted to pick up some new pieces. I feel like these are a little bit like more mature. Well, aside from the t-shirts, I'm going to wear this outfit. I'm literally just wearing a tank top and then these Lululemon um, like speed shorts, which again, is, is very American. I'm meeting my parents for lunch. We're going to like this Mediterranean place and then I'm going to go to a cafe and sit there for hours and get some homework done because I desperately, desperately need to do that. Okay, so I just made it back from lunch with my parents. It was really, really good. Sorry I didn't vlog very much. I literally like forgot for some strange reason, but I changed into this really nice comfy shirt that I showed you earlier, and I am going to go to a cafe, one of my favorite cafes that are kind of near one of the campuses that I attend. They have really good coffee, and they're one of like the few places open because on Sundays a lot of things close here, so I'm going to head there. As you guys can see, I've started packing up my bag so i'm taking my laptop with me but i really hope they have free wi-fi because um i need that to do my homework so i'm just gonna pack up that i'm gonna just go there work for probably like two or three hours as much as i can
Hey guys, so I just got back from studying at the cafe for like literally two hours and I feel so much better because I have like a lot better idea of what I have to get done this week and I don't feel stressed about it. This is my favorite thing to do between like 4 to 6 p.m. I love to just like lay in my room, especially as like the seasons change. It's like very magical time because like the breeze is coming in because it's cooling off for the day and I'm like laying in bed listening to music. Genuinely, that is like some of my favorite memories here in Barcelona is just that time of the day relaxing in my apartment in Barcelona that's like just a cool thing to me I don't know why I'm just gonna relax I'm gonna FaceTime my friend Celine from home and I'm gonna meet my parents for dinner later but I also want to let you guys know I'm filming a like very personal honest Q&A video I just feel like there's just been so many changes in like my mindset and my heart lately and I feel like having a whole video where I can kind of talk about this stuff would be helpful so that I'm not just rambling for 10 minutes in a vlog. So yeah, leave any questions down below and I'll get to answering them. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna rest for a little bit before I meet my parents for dinner. All right, so I just got off the phone with Celine. I am wearing the same outfit as earlier. I just tied my shirt a little bit and I'm wearing my big jean jacket and I'm going to make the commute to meet my parents at an Asian restaurant. Hi guys, so I am literally a failure and I realized as I was coming back to my apartment that I did not vlog dinner, uh, which I inserted pictures and that's literally all it was is dinner and then I came back home. I feel like it was a pretty productive day, maybe not like not the most exciting. I also got a lot of um, things accomplished and for the rest of the night, I'm actually searching for more internships because I made a list of like 10, but I, I really just wanna apply to as many as I can because why not you know so i am going to facetime my friends from back home i was just thinking about like how it's going to be next semester like what activities i'm going to be involved in and like what it's going to be like because i do feel like it's going to be different just because i have been gone for like a whole semester so i mean i think it's going to feel different to me i'm living in a totally new place i was kind of like nervous because i was like oh i wonder if like how it'll be like i don't know because it's like going to be different and I was like, it doesn't even matter. During the summer and stuff, I used to just like worry about things and I would get so worked up like if things didn't like go according to like how they were supposed to or if like something bad happened or whatever. I'll link down below like a video that I watched in one of my classes that I really found inspirational. It's a um, speech by Steve Jobs. He sort of was saying you can't connect the dots forwards. Like you can't know how things are gonna play out until it happens if that makes sense there's no need to stress about how things are going to happen because things are literally just going to happen the way that they're going to happen that's really resonating um in my life right now i just like want to enjoy every single day and not worry too much about like the future because i can't change it and i can only like be excited and you know hope for the best and like positive affirmation is also really big in my heart i feel like if you tell yourself that it's going to be good because no matter what happens you're going to be positive and and have a good outlook and um, really deal with the situation in the best way that you can because of that I feel like I've eliminated eliminated so much negativity so much worrying and stress from my life because I've chosen to live like that so I don't know I feel like it could also change when I go back to Bama I don't know but I hope that it doesn't I hope that I can continue to be the best you know version of myself the most positive version of myself always So yeah, that is a little snippet of something that I feel like I have gained from doing this whole study abroad experience. And again, comment down below your questions, please, on this video. I'm just going to have the rest of the night to chill. I don't have class until 11 tomorrow, so I'm so happy I get to sleep in again. And that's going to be the best thing ever, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to try and get to bed at a reasonable time and get like 12 hours of sleep because I genuinely, before last night, I hadn't gotten like a full night's rest and like two weeks so i'm very ready to rejuvenate i'm gonna drink water before i go to bed maybe make some chamomile tea and it should be a really good night so i'm looking forward to it and i will talk to you guys in my next vlog very soon and i will see you also in the q a that i'm going to be filming as well so thank you for watching today's video and i'll talk to you soon